Today, I want to talk about something that affects every single human being on the planet. Fear. And I'll tell you right now, my biggest fear is Hearthstone because it's just scary. Me straight. No, but to be serious for a second, this is actually going to be a very important major update video, an, an announcement, whatever you want to call it. We are going to be doing something that we quote unquote have already done before, but this nope. time we're going to actually mean it. But let me walk you guys through my process because this is honestly something that I thought about like four months ago that I was trying to like enact on, but then didn't really commit to it because I kind of fall back on things that I originally did and things that were more comfortable to me and that's something that's really uh that, that's my biggest fear like if i'm just gonna be honest with you guys I'm, I'm i'm scared of two things i'm scared of spiders and i'm scared of change and honestly that's kind of what we're talking about today is change because you got to be willing to change otherwise things are just going to stay the same and if you look at the youtube channel you're going to kind of have like a good idea of what exactly i'm talking about and there's going to be a big announcement if you've already seen the discord message if you've already seen things on twitter then you kind of already know what's happening and if you've tuned into the recent streams then you're going to kind of already get an idea of you know this has already been happening for a while but i guess it's just now official but let me walk you guys through uh, my process on why i'm making this quote-unquote announcement but what is the announcement we're going to get to that so since the mini set started i went absolutely hard like the mini set what came out about a month ago and we got to a point where i was literally releasing two videos in one day sometimes releasing some opinion pieces talking about you know we need a heart a hearthstone sandbox mode honestly you guys should check out this video because i feel like more people should understand the concept of what sandbox mode could be as you can tell by this video imagine forge mode in halo but in hearthstone but yeah we were making about two videos a day but then we just hit a wall after twist came out to where suddenly i did not post a video for an entire week and it's not like i decided like take a week off out of nowhere where it's like oh i'm gonna take a mental health week no dude this was a straight week of just being blocked i had no idea what to upload and honestly the things that you're seeing that have been uploaded recently were clips that i made like weeks ago that i finally got around to uh actually making the video for like during this week i also had a gig with my band so there was uh, some other priorities that i had to focus on but i was just completely burnt out because i'm going to be honest i have not really been enjoying hearthstone for the past couple of months since the badlands honestly it's mostly due to reno but it's also just due to how the decks really haven't changed recently this is my most recent top five decks video and this is why i haven't been making top five decks videos as well because the meta is different but it's not at the same time. So in top 1,000, and we're also seeing top 1,000 from here, we're seeing Zerini Priest, Handbuff Paladin, Flood Paladin, Highlander Warrior, Sharpshooter Demon Hunter, and now we're seeing Sludge Warlock, Plague DK, this is a very recent development, Handbuff Paladin, Sharpshooter Demon Hunter, uh, Sludge Warlock, yeah, right there, there's freaking Highlander Warrior right here, like, it's pretty much the same meta, with different decks being on top, and even when you're looking in the Legend meta, you know, hi, uh, Handbuff Paladin, Highlander Hunters, Token Hunters, Zerimi Priest, we are, like, Flood Paladin, even though I got nerfed, like, we're still seeing the same decks, and I really haven't had a lot of energy to, to stream Hearthstone recently, and honestly, this is what we're going to be talking about, is that there's not a lot of people uh, really streaming standard right now except for like people that are really trying to break the mold and keep things fresh and I'm gonna give a special shout out to Fino here who is currently streaming his own tournament for uh, for his EU community he sometimes does these uh, Hearthstone community tournaments so if you've never seen Fino definitely check out his content I mean if you know me you definitely know who Fino is and if you don't well check out these uh, these tournaments because you if you're an EU player you can sign up for them as well but they are literally doing this right now but the point that I am trying to make specifically with Hearthstone content is that unless you are really Really pushing the mold and you're doing something extremely unique like you know Rarin bringing on like a, a magic gathering uh, creator and doing like a collab or doing something like a big tournament but the point that I'm trying to make is that there are times that Hearthstone is just not enjoyable for a lot of people and a lot of the creators that make the game simply because the game becomes stale the metagame is just not something that they enjoy there's a lot of different factors that go into it but the overall point that I'm trying to make is that sometimes Hearthstone just doesn't make me happy and I have just not been been you know excited to do my job recently so i just need something a little bit different so i am here to announce that we are going to be doing variety gaming it is now happening we are going to start doing variety gaming and we've already been kind of dipping our toes by playing hades on stream and i'm aware that a lot of people are thinking oh no clark are you going to be quitting hearthstone no i am not quitting hearthstone and i'm going to keep saying this because i feel like this is always 
something that pops up in people's head is like, oh no, Clark's not, uh, Clark's gonna be doing variety, uh, gaming, he's no longer gonna be doing Hearthstone updates, no, I am wearing this shirt in order to prove to you guys my quote-unquote loyalty, I guess, to Hearthstone, because this is the reason why I'm here, I want to keep playing Hearthstone, but there are times where I just don't want to, and I need something else to do, so I am here to make the special announcement that we are going to start doing variety gaming, if you're someone that really enjoys games like Hades, for example, you know, here's our last stream, where I ended up, you know, getting kind of far, I guess. Here's some cool gameplay. If you've never seen the game, there's plenty of opportunities to see it. But yeah, I'm bad at Hearthstone, but I'm also bad at Hades because you just saw me die right there. But Death Defiances, they definitely carry. But what other games are we going to be exploring? Let's go ahead and look into this tweet because there are a lot of games that I really want to showcase. But there's also some other games that I might be interested in hearing about depending on what you guys want to see me play. I'm scared starting the next part of my content journey, but I am officially beginning variety Twitch content that'll also be converted into YouTube clips. But those videos are probably going to be a little bit slower and require a little bit more editing on that front. Uh, in addition to normal Hearthstone streams, I will be streaming Hades, Elden Ring, Kingdom Hearts, random Steam games, as well as YouTube watch parties. So we have a schedule that we're going to stick to, and I'll have this information all available in the Discord. So if you're not in our Discord right now, go ahead and check that out, because that is going to be the most up-to-date place to get any updates to the streams or to the schedules, but I pretty much hit a wall creating Hearthstone content this season. When you don't enjoy the current metagame, it can be hard to find motivation to stream in general. To combat this, I'll be streaming different games during different days of the week so I can enjoy gaming as a whole again because, like I've said, there have been days that I have not been able to stream just because I really don't enjoy the Hearthstone meta, and it's like walking into a job that you don't like, you know? There are, you know, perks and benefits of doing this kind of job in streaming and content creation, but this is, you know, the other side of the coin that a lot of people don't really focus on until you're in this camp and you're not really enjoying it. Like, imagine, you know, not enjoying your job as a streamer. Like, I, I, I need to do something to change that mentality because I don't want to hate streaming and I want to continue doing this, so we have to make a change. The games uh, on the schedule are as followed. We have Tuesdays where we're going to play Hades, Wednesdays we're going to play Elden Ring, and this is a big thing. Like, there's so much content that I've never explored to where I want to play Elden Ring and I want to actually learn this game. So this is like another, another reason why I'm doing this is because I want to explore content that I've never actually explored. But there's also, you know, the content that I am very familiar with, like, Kingdom Hearts, for example, I'm an avid Kingdom Hearts 2 fan, and I would love to share, you know, my love of this series with my stream. So Thursdays, we're going to play Kingdom Hearts. Fridays are going to be the streamer's choice or the chat's choice, depending on what exactly I'm feeling or if there's, like, something that I need to do for my schedule, like if I'm trying to make, like, a Hades video, then I'll probably play Hades on Friday or if it's just something I want to do. We'll figure out, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let democracy take its take its place. But Saturday, we're going to do YouTube watch parties because there's a lot of creators that I want to showcase and share with you guys. And there might be some creators that you guys want to share with me and we can, you know, you know, share some different YouTube experiences, have some cool memories. And that's like the overall focus of what's going on here. I want to do more things as a creator, not just a Hearthstone content creator. I will, I will always be grateful for everything that Hearthstone has given me, but I want to get to the point where I want to do more things other than Hearthstone. I'm not going to quit the game. I'm still going to start every one of these streams with a Hearthstone stream. We're going to do at least, you know, two to four hours. Make sure that we're just, we're, we're just doing more content. We're at least going to do four hours of Hearthstone and then potentially another four hours of another game. We're going to do eight hour streams. We are seriously going to jump into this because I want to do something that is very exciting and I really want to be able to take this next leap in my content creation journey because Hearthstone content as of right now for me is just not keeping me engaged as much as I want it to and this is just something that tends to happen with how the game updates but I do have some good news that I want to you know give you guys because I have been talking a lot of shit about Hearthstone in this video there is a very cool update that'll be happening in the next two days so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel to be updated about that there's a very cheesy update that is going to be happening and I am very excited to share it with you guys but that video will be coming in due time. So. But if you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and tell me your favorite video game so that way I can kind of broaden my perspective of different games to maybe consider. Because honestly, there's a very good chance that the schedule could change around a little bit, but we'll have updates on the Discord, updates on the Twitter, all of those kind of nonsense, you know, shenanigans and whatnot. But thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy the direction the content is going to be going for. And just, I, I'm just really excited to do something, you know, that is going to make me genuinely happy. So thank you so much for making it to the end of this very long rant, and we'll see you for the next video.